greetings everyone welcome back to the channel remember to like share comment and subscribe all right so for this video i'm going to talk about a few things that i would like for cxc to look into and make some changes because i am almost sure that these recommended changes will be beneficial to the students because at the end of the day the exam shouldn't be set in a way to make it very difficult for the students to pass because it's about competence and it shouldn't be about how much students can remember but we want we want to test them how they think as well as the work leading up to the exam because the exam the exam the written paper shouldn't be the end all of all the work that they would have put into the exam right so yes the exam shouldn't be the end all of everything because a lot of these students for cxc for c -Sex, sorry they would have been working over two years from grade 10 to grade 11 and for cape it is one year right so at the end of the day it shouldn't be the passing shouldn't be dependent on the written paper alone but other things should be taken into consideration you might be wondering what i'm saying but let me go a little bit deeper in this for the csec subjects i believe that cxc could look into making the exam in two parts like how they have cape unit one and unit two for CSEC, I think they could implement that method as well. So the students would do Unit 1 in Grade 10 and Unit 2 in Grade 11 because nowhere else outside of high school, as far as I know, where students are tested over a two-year period is usually semesterized or it is usually every year that the students are tested. I think it's a little bit difficult for the students to remember information from grade 10 to grade 11, so they are tested over a two year period because when they begin to study, that's a whole lot of information to chunk down or to break down into bite-sized pieces. So for a subject like social studies that I teach or history, right? I think that it should be done in unit one and unit two at the CSEC level as well. And I think that this will also help the students to be more serious in grade 10 because they would have been aware now that there's going to be a major exam at the end of grade 10, right? And they could split the SBAs in two as well, just as how they split the internal assessment for CAPE in two. So you have unit one assessment, you have unit two in assessment. And a lot of the subjects, I know teachers will agree with me and students would agree with me as well that the syllabus is, or the syllabi, really, really, really long. And most times it's very difficult to complete everything. And a lot of times students are not able to complete the syllabus because it is so long. Students are just not able to complete it. And I know this for a fact, right? Another thing that I think CXC could implement as well is they can make the SBAs for the C6 subjects waiting a little bit more for, i think for social studies the waiting for the sva is 22 percent right that's kind of small you know because the students actually do a field research so they go out into the field to carry out the research for social studies i think that sva could carry a little bit more weight like some of the cape subjects the sva is like 40 percent i'm not saying that you have to jump to 40 percent you know but you can increase it from 22 to about 30 percent so it carries a little bit more weight because this is work actually done by the students i think the sba's man should carry a greater weight that's what i believe for um cxc right so those are my two recommendations put the c6 subjects in unit one and unit two test that grade 10 unit one test that grade 11 unit two and we can split the sba as well or create a new type of um internal assessment or internal research at grade 11 and also allow the sbas to carry greater weighting those are my two recommendations for cxc cape i'm kind of okay with the cape because i teach cape tourism as well so i'm kind of okay with the tourism the ia because the ia tourism ia is 40 percent of the overall grade so the students do well because they put a lot of work in carrying out the internal assessment and they also study so they get better grades too so these are my recommendations to 
sorry to CXC. If you have other recommendations, you can post them down below or you can, uh, yeah, may I say down below? <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at the social studies whiz on Instagram. I've been posting over there, I've posted worksheet and post content right and those kinds of things so you can follow me over on instagram at the social studies ways all right remember to like share comment and subscribe thank you guys for watching have a blessed day now